you what's up. I'm Antia Babcock and I'm a rider biomechanic coach and I've been doing natural horsemanship since I was 13. Uh, this is Ember. She's one of my new uh, babies and project horses. She had never had any human contact uh, until two months ago. So it's been a really fun journey. Um, in this video, we're going to be doing a little bit of tie prep to prepare her for hard tying. And now if you do this right and prepare your horse properly, they won't have a problem with uh, pulling back or any of that. So here's how to prepare your horse for that life skill. So the first thing I do is I warm my horse up. Uh, just a little back up, four quarter yield, circle, hind quarter yield, just make sure that she's with me. You know, if your horse needs to move their feet, allow them to. Just make sure that they're mentally connected to you and ready to go on. Your prerequisites are leading and uh, friendly. Your horse has to be comfortable with you swinging a stick, you know, up over their back, around them. Um, you want to get pretty extreme with your uh, friendly here. Um, and make sure your horse is comfortable with you waving the stick around, slapping it on the ground, um, in all, all around them. So, and there, Ember was like, I'm gonna leave, I'm bored, and turned my hindquarters to you, which, typical baby thing, you know, they have moments where they do stuff like that, and I just corrected it. Do not allow your horse to ever turn their hindquarters towards you. And, um, so if your horse is pretty comfortable with all of this, um, then great. You want them to be comfortable with this in front of them, beside them, on both sides, and I kind of reach around and try to get it, um, to where, um, it's going behind them as well, and they can get comfortable with that. Uh, the next thing is to make sure that your horse follows a feel. Now, I just loop this uh, lead rope around the fence so that it slides easily, and I just want my horse to come off that pressure easily. If your horse at all lags and it's kind of like, oh, whatever, I'll get there when I get there, um, you need to fix that up immediately. You do not want a horse that lags or pulls on pressure. Um, you can use your stick to help encourage them to come up off that pressure if you need to. And here is how uh, you set up your rope. Um, you just want to loop it um, around the fence, and it kind of crosses and makes an X. And what this does is it takes the pressure off you. So if they pull back, all the pressure is on that post and not you. Um, and but it also allows it to slide uh, you want to make sure that this rope slides because if they do pull back you want to be able to allow them to uh, go back but then but still have enough drag that it encourages them to come forward and you know you can help them with your stick if you need to and then um, once you have that set up uh, it's time to go into uh, friendly and basically the idea behind this is you want to find something that bothers your horse whether it be you know uh, smacking the ground really hard or getting a plastic bag on the end of the stick and shaking it you know tagging the ground with it or um, jumping up and down to them you know, find something that uh, bothers your horse so that you have something to work through. Um, this is what I start with, uh, preferably, because um, it's probably the least extreme of um, the friendly to do. Um, and it's what I like to start out with. Um, just to kind of see where they're at. Amber is kind of like, whatever, this is... This is the normal, boring stuff that you do every day. So she wasn't very bothered by that. But some horses are. You just have to find what bothers them. The idea is to, you know, find something that causes them to pull back so that they learn the appropriate response to pressure, which is to come off of it. If you practice this with your horse, if your horse ever pulls back, he will know to come off that pressure and not flip over backwards, you know, 
or hurt themselves in any way. You're preparing them for life. This stuff is, like, majorly important, and this is why people have issues later. They're like, oh my gosh, my horse pulls back, or, you know, oh, he got his leg caught in a fence. Why don't we start now and prepare our horse for the future and getting them to where, you know, if they are in a tough spot, they know how to, you know, get out of it and not freak out and uh, just panic. They'll know the appropriate response to pressure. And here I'm just switching my rope around. You want to make sure you do this every time you switch sides. Um, it won't work if you just um, switch sides and don't switch your rope. So the drag won't be right and it won't release on your horse, which is very important for this exercise. So, and I'm doing the same thing other side. <laughs> you know, you want to make sure your horse is good with this both sides. Uh, and, um, just make sure they're comfortable with this. And there she got a little bothered when I went behind her tail. I found that her issue really is with stuff passing behind her. She gets kind of worried about that. So that's something we're still working on. And, you know, the idea is to keep doing what you're doing even if it bothers them until they step forward and then you release and that'll teach your horse the appropriate response to pressure you want your horse to know to always come off that lead line and to never pull back and here I'm just reading my horse like is she all right and there she turned and connected with me which is a good sign that you know, she's not worried, you know, she's trying to mentally connect with me. Those are all good things to look for. Uh, when you're working with your horse, you really want to look for signs of relaxation. So licking their lips, stuff like that. Um, and here I found her issue. This is kind of her, I found something that bothers her. You know, just me jumping up and down. And so you notice there... Oh, she didn't connect with me. She's a little bit worried about that. But she came off the pressure, so I'm rewarding here, rewarding her here and just rubbing her. You want to make sure that you give your horse lots of breaks and so that he knows when he did a good job. And she's kind of like, wow, you're really weird. Who got... Who put me with this human? <laughs> so, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and jump in and out and jump back and forth and see what she thinks about it. And I'm not going to go easy on this. I'm going to make sure that my horse is uh, good with this. I don't want her, uh, you know, pulling back. And there, see how she's having trouble. And I just kept jumping in and out until she came forward and I stopped what I was doing. And that's how she'll learn the appropriate response to pressure is my timing and my release have to be on point. And she kind of licked her lips here and started to relax. And that was a big breakthrough. She kind of like leapt forward. It was not relaxed. But at least she got the right answer and she was able to think through it, which is what I'm looking for. And this is how horse trainers get their cardio workout. <laughs> and that was much better. She thought about kind of pulling back, but then she was like, oh no, wait. I really don't want to waste that much energy. I know that's the wrong answer. So, you know, you may think I look super dorky doing this, but guess what little kids do? They run up to your horse because they're so excited, and what does the horse do oftentimes? They pull back. You know, I want uh, my horses prepared for life and knowing that all this stuff means nothing. You know, I want that, you know, little kid to be able to run up to my horse even though because they don't know better and my horse just to stand there and not do anything. Um, 
this is important stuff and it's good to do with your horse young if you have a green horse that's okay too uh you can still do it with them even if they're older uh it's great uh life experience for them and i was pretty happy with that um she made some good progress um that's where i would probably call it um good on that side and i'm just switching sides here um all i'm looking for is a little bit of improvement uh from my horse and that they can you know have something scary happen pull back and come forward off of it and learn that you know everything that happens around them isn't necessarily directed towards them And it's interesting when I switched sides, she kind of remembered what I did on the other side and was like, ah, uh, you're scary, but, um, I know I'm not supposed to pull back. And she licked her lips there too, which is an awesome sign of relaxation. That's what I'm looking for. It means she's learning. And every time I walk up, I kind of loosen the lead line and make it loose again so that they think, you know, I'm a nice person. I'm trying to help them out and make life easier for them. But pretty soon, you know, they're like, oh, okay, you're just trying to spook me. I'm not gonna worry about all this shenanigans you're doing. And this was great. That was what I was looking for. Be able to jump up to her and have her relaxed. Press like and subscribe if you want to see more of Ember's journey.